For thousands of years, humans have moved into new territories, surveying and exploring, pushing the limits of discovery. Today, we look to explore deep space, a hostile and unforgiving environment where humans and robots must work together in order to succeed. To make these missions possible, NASA is developing advanced robotic capabilities to survey deep space and planetary surfaces and to map the way for future human exploration. The robots are also designed to work safely with humans for joint human robotic missions. Robonaut 2, or R2 for short, is one of these advanced robotic capabilities being developed. It is the next generation dexterous robot, developed through a Space Act agreement between NASA and General Motors. R2's first assignment will be aboard the International Space Station. The conditions aboard the space station provide an ideal test bed for robots to work in close proximity to humans while also working in a zero gravity environment. Once demonstrated inside the space station, software upgrades and mobility aids will be incorporated, allowing R2 to work outside of the space station in the vacuum of space. This will help NASA prepare for robotic capabilities for future deep space missions. As the R2 technology matures, it will move on to complete tasks deeper in space. The next step for robotic capabilities such as R2 will be to explore near-Earth objects, including asteroids and comets, with the eventual destination being Mars and Mars moons. The robot will serve as a scout, providing advanced maps, sampling data, answers about basic surface compositions, and advanced infrastructure support in preparation for human arrival. This evolution of capabilities for both robotic and human exploration will make a Mars surface mission possible. This human-robotic partnership will allow Mars surface missions to be conducted safely by a smaller crew without sacrificing mission plans and results. There is a logical progression for the next generation of space exploration. Our first look at a new destination is through a telescope, then through the eyes of a robotic precursor such as R2, followed by arrival of human explorers. Humans and robots exploring the solar system together will provide greater results than either could achieve alone, enabling an exciting future of new discoveries.